Hi, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And you're here to find out five things you need to know about parenting plans in the state of Florida. Before we begin, a parenting plan is what is used in family law cases to determine basically the rules of engagement when it comes to parenting with a spouse or partner. This parenting plan tends to break down the time sharing schedule, how parental responsibility is going to be established, and most of all, the way you guys will navigate parenting and raising your minor child or children. But before we move on, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be updated when we bring out new videos. As a family law attorney, I've seen countless times how not understanding how a parenting plan works or not understanding what should be in a parenting plan can affect families all over. From being in litigation to enforcement or to just not thinking about certain things that should be in a parenting plan, it is so important to make sure that you understand at least these five things before you either negotiate, establish, or even try to modify your Florida family law parenting plan. The first thing you should understand about parenting plans in the state of Florida is that it is required in family law cases involving minor children. Florida statute 61.13 establishes essentially the fact that if a case involves a minor child or children, that at the end of the case, that there is a parenting plan established by the court which could be either agreed upon by the parties or ruled upon and entered by the court. But in either circumstances, the court does have to find that the parenting plan is in the best interest of the children. You may have heard me in some of my other videos mention best interest of the children a lot. However, just for reference, that is the language and the standard used by the courts and used by the state of Florida to determine if any decisions regarding parenting or family issues directly involving the children is satisfactory. The second thing you should know about parenting plans in the state of Florida is that there is actually minimum requirements as to what makes it a parenting plan. So in theory, you can have as many things as you feel like you need to have in this parenting plan, or at least what the court would determine is in the best interest of the child to have in the parenting plan. However, these minimum things is what's needed for it to technically be considered a parenting plan. And in theory, to be ratified by the court as an official parenting plan to navigate you and your partner's raising of your minor child or children. The first thing it needs to do is describe in adequate detail how the parties will arrange in the day-to-day -day tasks and activities in the raising and upbringing of the minor child or children. Two, include the time-sharing schedule in which you and the other parent will be exercising the time with the minor child or children. If you haven't seen in my other videos, a time-sharing schedule is what a lot of people tend to consider custody, which is pretty much what days the child will be with parent A and what days the child will be with parent B, taking in consideration regular schedules such as school year and holidays and special occasions such as winter break, Thanksgiving break, summer, spring break, etc. The third thing it should have is a designation as to who will be responsible for healthcare matters, school matters to include the boundary address being used for the minor child, and addressing extracurricular activities. In the state of Florida, the default pretty much is normally shared parental responsibility, which is both parents having that decision. However, if for whatever reason that's deviated, that needs to be included as well. What should also be noted 
is that if there is shared parental responsibility for healthcare matters, that the language must say that each parent may consent to mental health treatment of the minor child or children. And the fourth thing pursuant to statute is that it must determine how communication will occur between the parent and minor children. And more specifically, when the minor child or children is with parent A, how will parent B be communicating with the child or children? These are the bare bones things that needs to be in an agreement to be considered a parenting plan. There should be so much more if you want to minimize disputes and litigation. If you're curious about those things, let me know in the comments and we'll make a video about it. So the third thing you need to know about parenting plans in the state of Florida is that this is essentially the boundaries and the rules of parenting as far as the state of Florida is concerned. I say that because fortunate or unfortunate, when you have a parenting plan, this is what the court's always going to reference when it comes to any sort of disputes or issues you may have with the other parent. Essentially, if you have something that needs to be done or addressed as it relates to something the parent isn't doing, the court's gonna first look at this parenting plan to see what you guys agreed to or the court previously ordered to be done. So often, I've seen issues when problems come up that were not contemplated in the parenting plan. This is why I go to my other point that you wanna be as careful and specific as possible, if necessary, when you're drafting these parenting plans. And that rolls into my fourth point, that this parenting plan is essentially a contract. Whether you agree to it or whether it's court ordered by a ruling, trial, or otherwise, this is what you are bound by. Now, just because it's the contract and you're bound by it doesn't mean that there's not ways to work around the terms. However, I'll save that towards the end of the video. And so when I say that it's a contract, now we're getting into a lot of the legal weeds of this. Because it's a contract, it is subject to what is called enforcement and possibly even contempt, which is legal terms for saying that the court can order you to comply with these provisions, and if you don't, can offer sanctions such as monetary, attorney's fees, and even temporary incarceration until you comply with these provisions. So given that it's treated like a contract, these terms are very serious. And the fifth thing you should know about parenting plans in the state of Florida is that it is not so easy to modify. Now, I understand in the previous four things, I've noted that you have to have these things in detail, that it's enforceable, it's a contract. However, there is a standard that you can actually modify a parenting plan. The bad news is it's not as easy and straightforward as a lot of people would want to believe. If there is a substantial material, unanticipated change of circumstances since the entry of this parenting plan that's essentially permanent in nature, you can actually go back to the court, request a modification, and if the court deems it's in the best interest of the child or children, it can be modified. And more specifically, those provisions can be modified. I get many potential clients who will come in with their parenting plan and just say, hey, you know, I had this time sharing schedule and my job schedule changed, so now I wanna change it. Now, while that may seem like a substantial material unanticipated change, it really depends on the set of circumstances in which the original parenting plan was entered into to determine if it's substantial and material enough and unanticipated for a modification. When you get into this level of consideration of modifying your parenting plan, I would strongly advise that you at least consult with an attorney. Because what you may consider within those standards, there may be case law 
or just experience with a particular judge or division that may disagree with you. Like with the terms of a parenting plan, there can be a whole different video or a series of videos regarding modifications of parenting plans. So if you're interested in us talking about that, leave it in the comment and we'll get right on it. So for my faithfuls that made it all the way through this video, I have a bonus sixth thing you should know about parenting plans in the state of Florida. You know, you can actually do what is called temporary changes or temporary modifications to the parenting plan. However, it requires you to have an agreement with the other parent. It's so important to note that we're discussing right now how Florida family law and the Florida statute determines and regulates how you manage your co-parenting relationship and the raising of your children. But if you and the other parent need to make some changes, temporary or otherwise, you guys are always entitled to do that. This is a huge motivation to focus on working with the other parent to raise the minor child or children. Because if you can, and you have temporary situations in which you need to change the time sharing schedule a bit, you can't do one thing or the other, and the other parent's understanding, you guys can work together. And despite it being a contract, despite it being enforceable, the court wants you to work with this other parent. Just be aware though, that if you guys no longer can work together or the temporariness of the agreement kind of fades, that you're gonna be held accountable for these terms. But if the original change started with an agreement and you can prove that there's an agreement, you can avoid the contempts and enforcements. So it's a nice mechanism to know, okay, if we can't agree, this is what we're going to do, but it is always suggested by attorneys, judges, and overall even the statute that you and the other partner work together in making these decisions and leaving it out of the court's hands. These are five things plus one you need to know about parenting plans in the state of Florida. If you enjoyed this video or got some new knowledge, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated when we post new videos. And if you know someone going through a family law matter and should know some things about the parenting plan, please share this video as well. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.